At first glance, it looks like another convention at a suburban hotel. But this crowd of more than 300 is hoping they are no longer on this earth. Come May 21st. It's bewildering. I know it's unfathomable, but it is. This group is convinced that is the beginning of the end of the world. There'll be a worldwide earthquake such as man has never seen. Destruction and death everywhere. Why May 21st? Believers say that's the rapture. Exactly 7,000 years since the flood in the biblical story of Noah's Ark. We're at a point now where we are so certain that this will happen that we are ready to, you know, you know, travel 18 hours, leave our jobs, whatever. That doesn't. We know. High school health education teacher Sandy Klein is crying because she says the end of the world means her daughters won't be able to have children of their own. And it's like you have no control over anything. It's all in the Lord's hands. The group believes that everyone who is saved will be taken into heaven May 21st. There's going to be 200 million people saved. While everyone left on Earth will die over the next five months until the world is consumed by a fireball on October 21st. Almost everyone at this convention learned about May 21st from this man, Harold Camping. When they shall see the smoke of her burning. For decades, his low, monotone voice has been a staple on cable access channels and Christian radio broadcasts across the country and the world. He broadcasts from this television studio in Oakland, California, preaching over the airways and now the internet since the 1950s. We don't rule over them at all. We're not a cult or anything like that. Camping used to be a civil engineer. He's now 89 years old. I looked at all the scientific data I could find, like carbon-14 dating or potassium argon dating. He is not even willing to entertain the notion that the sun may rise on May 21st without worldwide destruction. There's just no reason in the world, no possibility that it will not happen. This isn't the first time Camping said the end of the world was imminent. The first time was in 1994, but at that time he insists he always put a question mark at the end of the prediction. I'm not embarrassed about it. It's just the fact that it was, it was、uh, premature. This time he says he's sure. Ted Shaffrey, Associated Press, Claymont, Delaware.